everybody, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Um, Overland, it is our two o'clock hour check-in live. And um, I'm going to start in just a minute with our five randoms. Today's five randoms are five random things that I do right before I um, log on to live log on live with you guys so we will wait i was just um probably wait for like 10 seconds <clears throat> Hi, Crystal Tower. Five, 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 five. Um, random things that I did today right before I logged on to this live was one, I mind shifted my mood. Um, I was having a hard time this morning um, getting the day started, and then I got on our conference call with Eric Thomas's team, and it, it just set the course for me to get things done in the morning. And I was able to accomplish a lot this morning um, with a better, better um, mood than last night, right before I went to sleep. Um, hi, Sister Brooke. And so um, right after I finished my um, morning tasks and everything that I needed to do um, and shifted my mind to a more positive mindset, I... I told myself, okay, you're, you, you have a massive headache now, um, cause you got through everything in the morning. Now just rest. And so I put myself to sleep from what time was it? When I got everything done, it was about 11, 11 AM. Yeah. 11. And I have been sleeping from 11 to about one thirty. 11, so about what two hours and it was the best sleep I ever gotten so that's number two of what I I did after I got all my morning tasks done I mind shifted to a better and more positive mindset and then I let myself rest for about two hours and to be honest I wanted to just sleep through the two o'clock hour I didn't want to get up to um, do this live but I got up after I went and re-listened to um, Anise and Tim sing their first live. And I was like, okay, now let's get with it. I can't be rescheduling lives when you're not feeling it. And so they helped me with their songs to get out of bed. Um, that was three. Um, so I bring up three to encourage you guys again whether it's my lives or any type of social media that um that can help you to pick yourself up especially if you're not a prayerful person um there's a lot of people out there that can help pick you up so just like how anise and tim helped me get out of bed today for the two o'clock live i'm asking you guys go rewatch whatever is on my timeline but also everybody and anybody that have that I have referred you to go to. So like the new one is um the new one is Anthony Flynn. He's on Instagram. I posted Hi Makisha. Um hope you and Jackson are doing good. Um so I'm gonna I'm gonna pin Anthony Flynn. This is someone you guys need to know. He is Eric Thomas's uh where is he? Eric Thomas's coach. And look at that. Like that in itself is value because even somebody as masterminded as um as Eric Thomas, he too needs needs someone to um keep him accountable but also help him with his uh 
his legacy and his business. So this is Anthony Flynn's IG that you guys are going to want to go and, um, hi Jose, you guys are going to want to go and look him up. So I think I was on number four. If I was in on number four random before I got on here, um, the point is, is I go back. I go back and look and feed off of those who have um, strengthened me to get me through my day. Um, we'll do an extra one because I can't remember if I did four or three just now. Um, the fourth one that I, fourth thing that I did um, right before this live, I myself, I am pretty high in confidence with my appearance, appearance and I don't allow other people to control it or do my best not to so right before this live what i did or didn't do there's a part right here you see that see that wave see that wave that wave was probably from my nap um my old self would have taken the time to um straighten that but i didn't straighten it for the point of um rock you the way you want to rock you don't rock yourself, and when I say rock yourself, I mean don't um, be you for other people. Be you for you, and I promise you other people will gravitate to you and, um, and will be uh, able to be themselves because they're around you and they can see you're being you and being genuine. Um, in the last five, uh, fifth, but, but probably bonus, um, random thing I did before I came um, online. I grabbed the book that I still haven't started. And I'm probably going to share something out of here. But if I don't, then um, I will share at our 2 or not 2 o'clock. It is 2. I will share at our 8 p.m. Um, live. So those are my five random things that I do. Or did today to get on live. And I hope that helped you guys. Or sparked something in your head. Um, to to get through your day. Um, and so. For those who are watching. Please. Please. You know. Tap in on asking questions. Or. Um, sharing an experience. Um. So something that's been heavy on my head and mind um, has been be present. Be, be present when you're with people. Um, be present for yourself. Like how are you um, taking care of your mindset and your heart when you're just alone? Because if you're not present um, and cautious of how you're thinking, wandering in your thoughts can be dangerous because wandering in your thoughts could cause um, uh, thoughts of low self-esteem, um, thoughts of uh, causing harm to others and yourself, and um, not having um, your attention on how you think will cause you to think things that you shouldn't be thinking, which will cause you to feel those thoughts and those thoughts could turn into actions and they're not always going to be, you know, um, um, happy or safe actions. And so let's see, it is two fourteen. Sorry guys, text message came in. So if anybody who is watching wants to share their thoughts of, um, what they do, um, to get through the day, that would be great. Um, Marvel Low. Hmm. Not sure. Marvel Low? How do we know each other? Are we family? We have so many. I had somebody add me yesterday and I was like, I don't remember you. And I'm not trying to be cocky and say I know so many people that I didn't remember this one person. It's just, um... I feel like I'm related to the whole wide world. And um, and then you have those spam accounts that 
try to request you so they can have you. And if anybody could help me with my Facebook messenger, that would be great. The solution might just be that um, I need to get a new phone, which is obvious because we've been having audio issues um, all week and beyond that. Okay, so since nobody's talking, things you can log on to that are going on today and that I've posted about. Um, first of all, there is um, the Point Church. Um, that's Anise, Tim, and Tama. Tama? I think I pronounced her name right. Um, her and Terrence and... Um, CJ's church. They're doing Bible study o online. So that's that. Tonight, um, I think it said 7 p.m. You can catch it on Facebook or Instagram. Um, what else is happening? My sister Rita, she went live last night uh, doing her karaoke. Um, so she'll be doing karaoke DJ music in between karaoke songs. It was pretty fun. I was on it for like an hour. And I needed that because it really helped again with mind shift, mood shift. Um, and I don't know. I'll have a better idea of what's going on um, tonight when I jump on at 8. And if you missed it, if you missed whatever is going to go on tonight, um, you can always probably rewatch it. Okay. Hi, Uncle. Good to see you again. Um, yeah, guys, so I still have like a little headache. It's like right here, yeah, right here. It hurts right there. Um, but just rewatch this and, um, take into account and possibly practice what I've shared because they're going to say, save you from continually having, um, having a headache. So let's look for a Mich uh, Michelle Obama quote. Hopefully there's a quote in this somewhere where I can just catch it quick and then either um, share my thoughts on that or end out this live. But, yeah. So I guess my next question is, what does becoming your best self mean to you? What does becoming your best self mean to you? Hi, Auntie Sana. Hi, Uncle... I think that's Uncle Jackson. No, that's not Uncle Jackson. That's Uncle Raymond. Hi, Uncle Raymond. Um, so if you guys could share what you do to get through your day, especially because you guys are in Hawaii, um, please share. I'm just looking for a quote out of... Um, out of... Michelle Obama's book. But she hasn't. There's no link. Okay. So one. Um, one thing that ca caught my eye. And it's a movie. From back in the day. That everybody can probably. If you're into. Um, Black America. Cinema. Then you will know who Spike Lee is. He's a big. Um, filmmaker. And. Um. She's talking about Do the Right Thing, um, one of his movies. And so I'm just going to um, feed off of that. Do the right thing. So not the movie, but just the phrase. Um, I think when it's easier to do the wrong thing, that's when you should push yourself to do the right thing. So I was still... Like, let's call it, I was still having a hangover of my bad mood last night. And when I was going about my daily task this morning, I legit was tempted to just be like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to do this. And I pushed through that negative thought. Love you, uncle. I pushed through that negative thought of, of wanting to do things my way and picking Picking the higher good, which is, um, which was do what is necessary, what you know you're supposed to do every day. Um, hi, Brother Robin. Hi, Monique. Um, do what you have to do and stop 
being in your in your feelings stop being um stop being a jerk and when i decided to make those moves and got things done i was able to rest but i guarantee you if i didn't do that first um it would have been a war zone in here <laughs> this house in this house which would have caused my headache to increase and and just a lot of other unnecessary um unnecessary battles so um i'm gonna end this out because nobody ever talks in here and so uh, if you're watching maybe you will have the courage and the um not only even courage but and i'm not minimizing if you need courage to talk online but um i'm saying that i need you guys to talk online when you come on um so hopefully hi sister crystal oh sister crystal this is my sister from another mister and she does um dancing dancing out in west valley hi already already what sister um but anyways so please please help yourself to um mind shift mood shift so that you can make sure that the rest of the hours of your day aren't spent um arguing with people unnecessarily arguing with yourself and the lord unnecessarily and um and when you do that i don't even know what you're talking about sister crystal i don't know what you're talking about um when you do that then you're able to serve so when i went through all those things that i needed to to get myself out of my bad mood um i'm able to come in here and share that experience with you guys but if i hadn't mind shifted myself or mood shifted myself i would have been sleeping right through the two o'clock hour i would have slept and then may have or may may have or may not have told you guys about my mind shift experience in the eight, eight o'clock hour so um you're welcome sister you're welcome air hug for you because i haven't seen you since last year i feel after maybe the beginning of this year when hmm. but anyways we'll do better right chris so anyways my sister she does her zumba um it's not zumba it's like island um dance class so correct me if i'm wrong chris let me know so i can let the people know to watch you and um since we're <laughs> practicing social um distancing but that's what we're gonna end off this live with guys is do the right thing shift reshift yourself to more positive um thinking and treating yourself and others and i love you guys we will talk to you soon love you chris bye bye everybody